Another, <laughs> time for another tasty episode of Dog in the Face. <laughs> and uh, what we're hopefully going to be doing... You know, this end. ...is uh, a bit of work on the Versus today. Uh, we have the uh, alternator gasket replacement because we're getting a bit of leakage under here. And then we're going to do the oil and filter change, um, which obviously happens all the way under here. I'm going to start things off with the uh, oil change. Um, the engine does need to be warmed up so the uh, oil can flow a whole lot easier when you're removing it. Um, so the first bit that uh, I'm going to do is remove these lower trims because uh, they're going to help access for the both jobs that we're planning on doing. Um, for those, it's uh, a four mil Allen into these little recessed areas. If you've got a paddock stand, um, that's the easiest option to get the bike level for this task. Um, but I've left mine behind today. So we've got this big chunk of wood that uh, acts as a little uh, prop to keep it fairly straight. So join me down this side. We've got that bit of fairing removed. Uh, we've got your drain bolt just there, and that's a 17 mil. We've got a trusty washing up bowl on hand, and uh, we'll get it draining. It's Kawasaki and the Treacle Factory. That is quite a colour. Um, certainly different from that fresh stuff that's going in. So it's probably due a change. To help the process along, uh, if we loosen off the filler cap, it's probably on pretty tight. This is where I probably look a bit silly and weak. But... Yeah, another one that doesn't want to budge so well. Get some John action in there. Oh, she's tight. Ah, she's going low. Super grip. There you go. And expertly done. Not in the bowl. The majority of that seems to have drained out, so we've got to get a grip hold of this um, oil filter. You might need a, a a proper wrench or something to get this one off but I'm using a uh, rubber palmed glove and a bit of Bruce Forsyth wielding strength and yeah nicely spilling over the exhaust there should be some good smoky business later and away that goes Just leaving all that there to drain away for a little while. I'm going to carry on with the job over this side. So first off, it says to disconnect this alternator cable. Um, mine got fried up in a previous bit of uh, riding, so I've had to replace it with some spade connectors. Uh, it might be a bit tricky to see which one's which, but for yourselves it should just be a little disconnecting of a little plastic piece. Uh, we then move on um, removing these from around the outside. These are 8mm uh, bolts. Because um, I don't know if these are going to be different lengths depending on where they are. Here's a top tip from the garage. Get yourself a fruit and fibre box, or any cereal box, or in fact any box. Draw yourself a tasty picture like that, and mark out where all the bolts go. Stick a hole through it with a screwdriver, and then as you take the bolts out, you can put them in the corresponding holes, and then you know where everything goes back together again. Most of those uh, bolts were all the same, apart from that one there. Meaty Bertha. Uh, so sometimes they are different lengths, and that's why we've done this. Yeah, certainly different ones 
spotted around. Yeah, so there's a couple that are different lengths, so it's important to know where they go back. It was a fairly tight uh, fit on there, so we've uh, found a couple of tabs, um, one on the top there and one, uh, where have we gone, down here, that we're able to sort of add a bit of leverage to, to help them just slowly pop it off and we'll see a little bit more wiggling. We should have a, a free, there is a, kind of a couple of dowels I think that it um, rests on that keeps it still. Whoop, fling a bit of dirt at you. I'll just uh, fumble around for a little bit longer but it is on its way off. Let's have a brief musical interlude. Oh. Notifications. Cogs and all sorts flying. You stay there. Cogs. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Involved. There we go. Many wondrous things. That's exciting, isn't it? Got those two pieces separated out. We've got to do a bit of cleaning up around the edges. So we've got a clean surface for the new gasket to fit onto. Otherwise, we're going to carry on with more leaks than we had before. There's all mechanical it's business. Gonna yeah, those surfaces want to mate nice and tight. You want to be careful when you are cleaning up these surfaces that you don't sort of put some hefty gouges in this aluminium because then again you're going to just be creating lovely spaces for the oil to creep out. I'm fairly happy that I've got things uh, cleaned up uh, as best I need to. So I'm going to go and put some sealant around these uh, edges before I put the gasket on. And that should help uh, stop any leaky business. I've got my new gasket and shoddily applied um, sealant. Uh, so we're going to see if we can slap this one back in place. With a bit of fumbling later. Uh, it's just being careful that these uh, gears and stuff don't spill out everywhere. Let's see how we get on. We'd encountered a little problem uh, trying to get that uh, cover plate back on because um, some of the uh, gears weren't quite meshing in to where they need to be. So um, so we took everything off again and just put the uh, gears back in on their own um, so to make sure that they're all seated properly so we can actually get the uh, cover back on without too much uh, chance of breaking stuff. So let's try it again. Finally got the cover back in place. Um, you see the sealant just making a nice spoogy mess around the outside of that edge. Uh, the bolts, uh, it states, wants to be a 9.8 Newton meters. Um, so we've got this wonderful contraption of extension bits and bobs. Um, I'm just going to steadily work my way around, tightening things up. With there being so many bolts to do up uh, on this rather obscure shape, um, it's probably worth taking your time and kind of working in this sort of crossing over pattern uh, till you get them uh, snugged up before you do your torques. Um, that way you're not going to be getting it on all wonky and then creating a bit more leakage. The last bit of that one is just remembering to reattach that uh, electrical connection because otherwise your bike ain't going to go too far.
back to the oil change side of things. So we've got the uh, new filter there, gone for the old high flow job, that I, same as I had on before. Um, and as standard, let's give it a little bit of a dribble of the new oil around the little rim of that seal, just to keep it nice and tight when it's back in place. We'll pop the new uh, filter back in there. It's nice and steady on the threads. Uh, you don't have to get them on super tight. Because most of the time, it's just a kind of hand tighten. Just so you know, it's not going to fall off again. If you do do it too tight, you'll uh, wreck the seal that Kieran just put that new oil on and you'll just get a lot of oil leaking out. So, hand tight only. Getting all the special angles today. Uh, putting the old drain plug back in there. Uh, once you've got it so finger tight, the specified torque is a delightful 30 newton meters. Uh, I've still got the uh, sticker on the side, which gives a handy indication of what amount of oil we should be putting back in. But we're going to go a little bit short of um, what it's saying to start with. That gives us a bit of margin for error. Um, I'm going to fill it up to sort of maybe one and a half. Um, give it a chance to settle down and then see where we're at. Got the funnel in place to make things a little bit easier when we do the pouring. And then a handy little measuring jug to give us an accurate measure. 750 lovely juicy business on its way. Round two going in. You did put that drain bolt back in, didn't you? Ah! Here's the level with uh, the 1.9 liters put in there um, it does look a little bit low for the time being but I'm going to let that uh, settle out a little bit maybe do a ride uh, ride out on it and see then where it gets to always got the option of adding a bit more and don't want to go over the top that's uh, that job uh, buttoned up Everything's all tightened up and we've got some nice clean fresh oil and filter um, So we've got a nice bit of riding to be done So taking a lot out of the little lad All this extra work He's had a little naff in a hammock uh -huh. Well thank you for watching the video, you've made it this far at least um, If that has been of any use to you obviously give us the old thumbs up and uh, any sort of useful comments uh, pop in the section below um, but uh, give us the old uh, bang on the old subscription button and uh, we'll keep you posted with some more surely entertaining and wonderfully interesting videos goodbye